TST, a solutions company. In this video, we're going to check hole interference inside of Visi. This hole interference is the distance in between the face of the tool and the tip of the water line. To do this, we go to our mold drop down and go to my check interference and it's called hole interference. In this body distances, I can type a value in that I want to check the distance to be within. I can then hit this hand here with the plus and click on hole interference or body selection. Once you've got that selected, you can then pick the body. And now I'm gonna turn on my matching faces command. And I'm gonna go in here and pick my water lines. I can choose my water lines and then choose the tip of the water lines. They can be a drill point or a dome. It doesn't matter, you just have to choose all of them. Once they're all selected, I'm going to then select the faces of the surface. I'm going to use my tangent faces command for this and there's a few different sets of tangent faces on this tool. Once I select those tangent faces, I then wait for it to calculate. Once it calculates, I can see that it found eight lower distances. Going to the transparent shading is a good way to see these distances. You can see that it creates a sphere in the areas in between the tip of the water line and the part. So I can go and check these values and look at them and see exactly what my distances are and how close they are and if I have any dangerous situations such as this line right here. Quick and easy method to check your water line distance from the face. I can also change this value. If I change it to a half inch, all I have to do is hit the preview button and it quickly recalculates to every distance that's under a half inch and it tells me there's two distances. It goes quick to go back and forth to select these distances and it tells you how many are in there. Once you hit the OK button, it will then leave the spheres and the numbers on the screen so you can then hide the tool if you'd like and see exactly where those spheres are and how many of them there are and what their distances may be. This is a quick and easy method to check your waterline clearance from your face of your tool. Thanks for watching.